All right, let me see if I can help you understand the Ocean Spring short-term rental guidelines. All right, first off, what is a short-term rental permit and do I even need one? Remember, these are guidelines for the city of Ocean Springs. You should check with your own city or county for local regulations. So short-term rental permit is defined as any um, accommodations that are available for guests renting less than 30 days. If you are 30 days or more as far as rentals go, then this does not apply to you. And uh, any STRs in the city of Ocean Springs must obtain a permit and pass inspection. If you're a commercial property, then this does not apply to you either. And you should probably check with the city for guidelines on that. So the biggest changes that are set to take effect, 61623, are that there is now a short-term residential density area and a downtown overlay area. Let me, let's take a look at the map. The maps are not great. I um, do have a print copy. You can feel free to reach out to me if you need that. It's not that great either. I'm working on creating a better copy so that you'll be able to easily determine where your property is located. So here's a map of the city and the highlighted area that I have marked right here is the short term residential density area. Okay, I'm going to explain what that means here in just a minute. So there is also what is considered a downtown overlay district. And you're really going to be happy about the changes if you're wanting to do a short term rental in this particular district. Okay, now lastly is like everything outside of that short term rental density and overlay district. Okay, so let's see what does that mean for you. Here are the top highlights of the changes. Okay, new short-term rental density zone, that area that I showed you just a second ago, has now been established with a cap of 55 permits, which means that if you live in this area, that area is capped to 55 short-term rental permits, okay? All right, properties in the new downtown overlay district will not be subject to the cap or public hearing requirements. So if you're in this area, you're capped at the number of permits that these houses can have, and you have to go to a public hearing to get approved for a short-term rental permit. So if you're in this area, then that does not apply to you. You do not have to go through the public hearing process and you are not um, obligated to adhere to the caps that everyone else has. So big deal, right? So properties not in the downtown overlay or the short-term rental density zone now have a cap of 60 permits. So that is everybody else. Everybody else, you have 60 permits available to you. Now, did I say that properties in the downtown overlay district are not subject to a cap or public hearing? Guys, big deal right there, big change. All right, so um, the application fee has been raised. I think it was 200 or 250 before, now it's 500, you got a dollar admin fee and it is to be renewed every single year. All right, city must be made aware of any covenants or restrictions on the property. Like if your HOA says that you're not allowed to do short-term rentals and you don't tell the city when applying for your permit might be a problem for you later, right? New cap and density zone both take effect 6-16-2023 and there are enhanced safety and code requirements that must be met and an inspection is required. I do have a copy of those enhanced safety and code requirements. You can also reach out to the Ocean Springs Planning Department to get them. Feel free to reach out to me. Happy to send them to you. If you have any questions, if I can answer them, I certainly will. Feel free to reach out to me. You can find me on social pretty much everywhere at Coast Catherine. You can email me, MissCatArchuleta at gmail.com. Um, go to my website or feel free to call the office or you can reach me directly on my cell. So 
I'll answer the questions if I can. Otherwise, good luck getting your short-term residential permit.